So for today's activity, we're taking a few, thing we've, a few things we've learned and combining them to figure something out. So these questions are asking how many molecules are in this many grams of this stuff. And then uh, there's other ones that ask how many grams are in that many molecules. Now, just as a heads up, if I want to figure this one out, we'll do number one and five. Because um, they're kind of like opposites and stuff like that. So we'll do that. How many molecules are there in 24 grams of FeF3? I wrote that down here. So 24 grams of FeF3, that's iron and fluorine. So it's iron fluoride. How many molecules are there? Now, before we, we figured out how to go, like, let's say from grams to moles, right? Grams to moles. We've done that. And moles to grams. We've gone back and forth. And to do that, we kind of need to know this, like what that stuff is, right? Because the bigger these molecules are, the heavier they are, the more, the more grams there will be in that amount of stuff. And then we know, and just the other day or yesterday or something, we did, we did go from moles to, uh, you know, I guess particles, you know, molecules and atoms. Molecules or atoms. We did go from here to here and back again. And we've done this and back again. So we end up having to do both for this assignment. So let's go ahead and jump into this. And let's go to the periodic table and see what iron is. Let's zoom in here. Iron is 55.885. 55 uh, 55 so iron is 55.485, if I remember that right. And that's grams per mole. That's how many grams iron is per mole. Uh, uh, oh, no, 845. I did get it back. Look at that. I got it backwards. But you get the point. So there's iron. And then the other one was fluorine, right? Over there it is. Fluorine. It's 18.998. 18.998. I'll write that down first before I forget. Fluorine, right? Uh, but remember, there's one of these, only one iron, right? See, there's no number here, so it's just the one iron. But there's three fluorine. So we got it. So that's how many grams per mole fluorine is, right? And we got to times that one by three. And what are those two numbers? Well, this one on top is easy. It's just the same number, eight, four, five. And on the bottom here, uh, let's go ahead and do that in the calculator. I think I opened it up already. Uh, 18.845 times, wait, I think I got it wrong, 998. 998, there we go, times three. Oops, I put, there we go. And the answer is zero. Obviously, I did that wrong. So <laughs> let's clear this out. All right. Uh, 18.998 times 3 is, did they change the equal sign? Why am I clicking there every single time for the equal sign? 18.998 times 3 is equal to, there we go, 56.994. Fifty-six point nine nine four, and let's add these two up. So we're just going to take this number that we already have and just add the five five eight four five plus five five point eight four five, and we get one hundred twelve eight thirty nine. So this is how many grams of this stuff you will find per mole, okay? So we now we know that this iron fluoride is this many grams per mole. And, uh, and but I only have 24 grams, so I'm not going to even have one mole of it. That's fine. I won't even have one mole of it, but that's fine. Well, let's see how much we'll have. We'll have 24, so you're going to take this amount of mass you do have, take the amount of mass you do have, 24 grams, and divide it by the 100 and 12.839 grams per mole. That's what we did, we did this before already. And this tells us how many moles of stuff we have. And it's not gonna even be one whole mole, it'll be like point something, but let's see what it is. 
So let's go to the calculator, and we're going to go and just remember this number, 112.839. And we have the 24 grams divided by, and it's, uh, I already forgot what it was, 112.839, 112.839. Three nine is equal to 0 0.212 or 213 I guess I'll round that up because that's 6 0.213 so 0.213 moles of iron fluoride that's how many moles we have but their question was how many molecules and I need to know how many moles I have because that means we'll figure out how many molecules because remember this part's easy we just take the 0 0.213 moles and we already know there's 6.022 Avogadro's number, right? Times 10 to the 23rd power. We know that there's this many uh, molecules per mole. So we'll just times it by that mole, and we get our final answer. So let's go ahead and times that one by the uh, Avogadro's number. So we'll take this, times it by Avogadro's number, which is 6.022. And then EXP, this little button right here, that means E to the power of 23 is equal to 1.28. So you don't have to write down all these other numbers. 1.28 is good. 1.28 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of iron fluoride. And it's always a good idea in chemistry to write down what you have. What is, what is this giant number? It's molecules of iron. Because you think about it, so many different things. There's like moles, there's molecules, there's grams. There's, there's so many different things and so many different chemicals that you're dealing with. So explain, what is it you have of what? I have this many, 1.28 times 10 to 23 of what? Molecules, not grams, not moles, molecules of, and then what chemical? FEF3. So it's always a good idea to do that. Get in that good habit for your chem class of writing it out fully. Don't just write a number, okay? Everybody wants to do the problem very quick and just throw a number out and go, look, I did it. But then, you know, just do it right. It's an extra few seconds of just writing it out. It literally, it's just a few seconds, five seconds more to write that. All right, let's go to that next problem. Let's go here, and we're going to do that number five. Where we go the other way. How many grams are there? and this many molecules of this. Okay, so let's write this down. So we have uh, 7.5 times 10 to the 23. 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd power uh, molecules of, and what substance do we have? It's uh, right here, H2SO4. H2SO4, I got so many things open. H2SO4. I don't remember. I, I don't feel like looking it up right now, but I think this is sulfuric acid, if I remember right. Or some, it's, it's an acid. It's like sulfic acid, or it's probably sulfuric acid. That's the most common one. Um, anyway, just for your educational purposes, I just want to let you know, but you can look it up exactly if you want. It's, a, it's an acid for sure. So we have this many molecules of this, and they want to know how many grams. How many grams? Like, how much would that weigh? How much would that weigh? How many grams? So first thing we need to know is how many, we need to know how many moles this is, and then we need to find out the molar mass of this and figure this out. So let's let's just do one thing at a time. Let's figure out how many moles this is. Uh, and to do that, we take 7.5 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, and we divide it by Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Because remember, this is how many molecules there are in one mole. This number is bigger. So we have more than one mole. So when we divide it, we're going to get like one point something, right? And that's our goal. That's, that's why you should think of it that way. That's how you're going to remember how to divide it. You're going to say, well, if this is bigger than Avogadro's number, then we're going to have more than one mole. So this should be on top. So when I divide it in there, I'll have that bigger than one number. So let's go here. Let's go to the calculator. And let's start typing in 7.5 times 10, the XP number, to the uh, times 10 to the uh, 23rd power divided by Avogadro's number, 6.022 
times 10 to the 23rd power, and that gives us 1.25 moles. I'll just round it up. 1.25 moles. 1.25 moles of uh, H2SO4, which I think is sulfuric acid. Now I know how many moles. Uh, we're almost there to the grams. I just need to figure out the molar mass of this stuff. So uh, H and S and O, those are all our elements in here, right? And uh, H, I remember, is 1.008, and it's times 2. There's two of them. Uh, oxygen, I remember that one, is 15.999, really just 16, really. And there's only one. Oh, no, there's four times four of them, right? See, there's four. And there was two uh, hydrogens. One, sulf uh, one sulfur. And what was sulfur? I don't remember that one off the top of my head. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to the periodic table. 32.06. So uh, 32, so we'll just call it 32, and it's only one of them, okay? And we're going to say that this is just one. That's close enough. So that's a, this is rounding, I mean, but geez, it's 0, 0.00. This is the thousands place, so it's totally fine. So this is going to equal 2. This is going to equal 32, and this is 16 times 4. I know it's 15.99, but most people actually just call that 16. We don't need to be that exact. Your number is not going to be much different, to be honest with you. Times 4 is 64 so that's 64 and then let's add these together and uh, that's going to be 96 98 so the total molar mass is 98 that's how many grams per mole of this stuff is that's how many grams will be per mole uh, we have more than a mole so it's going to be more than 98 right because we have more than a mole and all you have to do is is uh, kind of um, multiply them together we have 1.25 moles and you're going to times it by 98 grams per mole, right? That's how you just multiply these two together. Because remember, the moles cancel out. Remember that trick? So you just multiply these two numbers together. And so we're going to get, um, oops, I made the whole thing go away. 98 times 1.25 1 is 122 and a half. 122.5 grams. That's how much this is going to weigh of uh, H2SO4. I should write the whole thing out, right? Practice what I preach. All right, so that's everything, guys. Uh, that, that should get you through all the problems. If you have any questions, email me.